So you've probably heard about AMD Ryzen. Surely someone has said, I've got a Ryzen CPU, I've got a laptop that's got Ryzen in. But have you heard about Ryzen Pro? Well, I've come across Ryzen Pro in the Threadripper lineup when testing some of the Threadripper CPUs. But did you know what Pro AI actually means? Well, AMD reached out and said, we'd like to sponsor a video about you talking about AMD Ryzen Pro lineup laptops workstations and i thought do you know what i don't actually know exactly what this is so i've been doing some research about amd ryzen pro the thing is you might be actually buying a wrong laptop especially if you're a business user running a business amd ryzen pro might be a deal breaker for you and you might have not known what amd ryzen pro can do that a normal ryzen can't do I want to start with a very interesting call to action with you guys. If you're a business and you're wondering, are Ryzen Pro right laptops or desktops good for me? AMD is actually running a very cool program where you can just sign up and try out the AMD Ryzen Pro laptops if they work for your business and for your workflow. So if you're interested in that, go check out the link in the video description below and just try out some AMD Ryzen laptops, links down below. Now, when you go on Amazon and try to find a Ryzen Pro CPU, you're actually greeted with Threadrippers, not a normal Ryzen AM5 software. Socket CPUs, but there are actually Ryzen Pro CPUs for AM5 socket as well, but they most likely come in an OEM kind of a built setup, not a DIY market. If you're a business and you're looking for a hundred desktops for your office, for your employees, then you're probably going to the likes of Dell or Lenovo and you're buying the Ryzen Pro desktops from there. But you're able to slot a Ryzen Pro 7945 CPU, that's 12 cores, just into your normal X670E, X870E motherboard, and it would just work fine. So in some ways, you can actually DIY even a Pro Ryzen 7000 CPUs, or 9000 when they come out. But the interesting thing that I found is that when going with a Pro lineup in the AM5 socket or AM4 socket, usually you're sacrificing a little bit of the cores or performance when it comes to it. For example, the best Ryzen 7000 Pro CPU is a Ryzen 9 which is a 12 core 24 thread. And we know that there's a 7950X, which is a 16 core 32 thread one. But the Pro lineup doesn't have that on the AM5 socket. Now, when we move on to the Threadripper lineup, Threadripper 7000, for example, the tables have actually turned. And in there we have Threadrippers, and then Threadripper Pro is even more core count. So if you want to go with the highest core count, you have to go with the Threadripper Pro lineup. The 7995WX, which is a 96 core monster that obliterates everything that you can throw at it. AMD, when you're reviewing this video, maybe we can work out a secondary deal where I can review that CPU because we've checked out the 64 core 7980X, but the 7995WX, people are asking for it. Don't believe me? Check out the comments. Another physical hardware difference between AM5 Ryzen Pro CPUs and the Threadripper Pro CPUs is that on AM5 they are locked. So there's no overclocking available. They're just locked. 65 watt TDP, usually what you can see Ryzen 7000 Pro lineup. In the AMD Threadripper Pro 7000, they are actually unlocked. So that the 96 core CPU you can overclock it if you wanted to, which is rather mental. I bet the office uh, IT guys are gonna be excited at doing overtime, overclocking those workstations and seeing how much juice they can squeeze out of them. But what about the Ryzen Pro? What is something extra that you actually get with it? Um, one of my favorite ones is the Pro Art lineup and they are using the Ryzen 9 AI chips, the non-Pro chips, but still feature a lot of the same things. So in terms of the four different aspects, what Ryzen Pro offers, number one, the elephant in the room is AI. Now, if you're a business and you'd like your business to be ready for your AI workflow, more and more the industry is shifting towards AI, which means that previously we sent our requests off to the cloud and then it did some processing 
and then it came back to you and then it gave some kind of result for you. Whereas now you have the AI processing done locally on your actual laptop. If you didn't know, the Ryzen Pro has three separate processing units built into its one core, especially on the laptop side. We've got the CPU, which just handles the old fashioned, you know, CPU tasks. And then we've got the GPU, which handles the graphics tasks. And then we've got the NPU, which handles the AI and neural processing tasks. Now, the thing is, all of these can work together depending on your workflow to provide the ultimate AI performance, which is measured in tops. Now, when you want to know some performance benchmarks on AI, looking at AMD's website there, AMD is boasting of 28 to 85% higher performance than equivalent Intel processor, which is pretty insane. And did you know that right now there's over 150 AI software experiences available? And you might not even know that the workflow that you are on can utilize AI and just upgrading your laptop might make this even faster. Me as a creator, I found out that Premiere Pro, for example, utilizes AI in a very clever way. The three of my favorite things in Premiere Pro that AI can handle is scene detection, text-based editing, and auto reframe. If this is something that is included in your workflow, then having a processor that can handle this in AI workflow will be much faster than without. If that is included in your workflow, having a Ryzen Pro that can utilize its hardware to give you a boost in those things is a good thing. And also Topaz Labs, when you wanna do motion D blurring, these are some AI workflows that make me excited. Now, I recently did a poll on my channel and realized that quite a lot of people are actually using AI, but still about two thirds aren't. Which one are you? Let me know in the comment section below. Second big thing about Ryzen Pro that is a step up from the normal Ryzen is security. And this is where AMD really has honed in and differentiated itself from the non-pro version. They've got multi-layered security hardware and OEM level to make sure that all the data that you're processing in your business is as safe as it can be. They've got a special integrated security co-processor in the pro lineup, making sure that the rest of the hardware is safe from any attacks that might affect your business. And also the pro version of Ryzen CPUs have a longer warranty compared to the non Pro. Number three is battery life. And this is really exciting because it used to be that you always had to carry around the charger with your laptop. Well, not anymore because some of the Ryzen Pro laptops, AMD is boasting up to 29 hours of battery life. And when looking at some of the efficiency numbers compared to competition, I was pretty blown away. And lastly, performance. Now, uh, we mentioned that there is NPU, CPU, and GPU all together in one package, but all of that actually gives you a lot higher performance than competition. For example, AMD is saying that it's 69% faster in office productivity tasks compared to Intel 155H compared to Ryzen 8840U processor, which in a business environment is pretty big deal. Interestingly, when looking at the desktop side on AMD's website, I didn't see it mentioned that the Threadripper Pro is something that there is unmatched performance on the market. And uh, maybe I couldn't find this, but for me, that's like the first thing that you should be mentioning that Threadripper Pro, the 96 core workstation, there's nothing like it. I've got one down there. It's only the 32 core version, not the 96 core. I've cheaped out a little bit. If you haven't seen that PC build, go check it out. So then the Ryzen Pro, if you want to check it out and try it for your business, the links for this is in the video description below. Thank you very much AMD for sponsoring this video and letting me look into this and sharing some of this information with my audience. But the four things to remember what comes with Ryzen Pro, AI, security, energy efficiency, and performance. If that's what's important to you in your business, go check out Ryzen Pro in the video description below and try it out for free. Thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.